Well, the holiday season is nearly here. Thanksgiving nine days away at this point. And in case you haven't noticed, it's cold outside and it's going to stay that way for a while. If you're like me, you've looked at the fireplace, you've locked eyes with it, but you haven't actually lit that first fire of the season just yet. It's going to happen soon. That's OK, because our next guest has some things to think about before you do that. James Anderson is the president of Approved Home Improvements. James, welcome back to the show. Thanks for having just me. talking about how busy you've been now that yeah. the weather's getting cold and people want to get these fireplaces going. But you got to be careful. What should people know before they light that first fire of the season? If you've moved into a new home, and no matter what you've been told, if you haven't specifically had a, somebody that specializes in fireplaces come out and look at it on the internal portion of it, mm -hmm. don't light it because it could look perfect from the outside, but you just, I mean, you don't know what's inside, and that's, that's as simple as it can be. Yeah, you were just showing me in the break, right before we came out on camera here, reports of uh, house fires with smoke coming out the chimney, and that's yeah. very often a result of problems with the fireplace. I wanna show everybody at home a couple of different okay. images that you guys have come across on your on your jobs. The, we're looking at the inside of the chimney and that the, the flue, they call it, and there's big cracks on the side you can see. Why is that such a problem? So that's the aftermath of somebody that had a flue fire, whether they realized it and the fire department had called or they didn't. That's what caused that damage. That chimney was not cleaned and maintenance, and that occurred. The thing about flue fires are they're preventable. They have to have fuel to happen. If you clean it, why guess whether you think it's safe or not? There's just no point in that. Get them clean, get them inspected, and it's 100% going to be the case that they're safe. If you do wind up with a flu fire, you're probably going to have all kinds of warping and, and a bad right. shape happening on your chimney. From the ground, you would never notice exactly, that. Exactly. Right. I mean, you, you're not, if you don't know what you're looking at, you look at a chimney and it may appear normal and then come in and somebody that knows that they're looking at it, shows it to you and explains it to you, you'll have a different opinion of it. Here's definite evidence that there was a chimney fire before you guys got right. to this scene because you're, you're seeing what, ash and that, creosote and all that. Right. Ugliness. So, you know, normally when you have a fire, you have the little powdery ash, that, the Soot. Yeah. Well, that is after it catches fire in the flue, that's what you get. It actually bakes like asphalt on a road, starts to spit chunks. That's mm -hmm. why your chimney fire, your chimney cover is so important. Those chunks catch in your quarter inch thick steel and they can't spread to your roof, which is oil and is flammable. Mm -hmm. So each little component may seem like it's not a big deal individually, but as a whole, it's a very important package to have on your home to protect you, your family, and your assets. No doubt about it. I've seen your crews at work. They can do just about anything. You're a guy that built your own house from the ground up. Why choose to specialize in this, in masonry and these kinds of internal chimney repairs? You know, I've did it for a long time. My, my father did it. Uh, why well, we really, it, it's one of those things that you would think a chimney was built 100 years ago, that's just what you got. But science and technology changes. We can go in and take that same chimney without changing its sizes or operations to get all the positives from it and double its operating temperature from what it was. So roughly take it from about 1200 degrees to 1500 degrees. We can take that where you can, before it from fail, it'd have to get above 3500 wow. degrees. So that's a lot of extra safety added to your yep. home. And we, we like the fact that what we do does add value to the home home and add safety to the home and that's why we've chosen to keep doing it. If somebody watching right now has been told don't use your chimney it's not safe it's not functional how long does it take you and your crew to, to turn that around how long before they're they're enjoying a fire? We was on the show last week it was 80 degrees and we had a gentleman call us and we went out and his fireplace was done on Friday and we, wow. they called us on Tuesday. Same thing today, if they actually know they need internal repairs and they call us today we will have your fireplace working by Thanksgiving. <sighs> That's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's what we want is to be cozy and enjoy that family time around the fire. James, thanks so much. We thanks for having us. So call Approved Home Improvements to gobble up some November savings they're throwing out at you. If you call today, you're going to get 40% off, 40% off those internal chimney repairs that are completed by the end of the month. So the number is right there on the side of one of his work trailers. It's 314-780-6080.